everyone, and welcome to Commander Cookout on YouTube Top 5 in 5. This week, Top 5 Modern Horizons 2 pickups. <sighs> That's right, and we're brought to you by FusionGamingOnline.com, your source for all of your gaming needs, all of your Modern Horizons 2 needs. Don't forget, CCO Fusion 5 gets you 5% off on all of your marginally expensive Modern Horizons 2 cards, some of which might be on the list. Who can say? Okay, let's get right into it. You can say, what is our number five pickup? I'm gonna take some heat for this one. It's Cursed Totem. Reprint stacks piece from the old days, but I look at cards like this as the leveling of a playing field. Let's say you're playing a deck that doesn't wanna run dorks. It doesn't have room for a bunch of just utility creatures with really great value activated abilities. Hmm. You can run a Cursed Totem instead, and that way your opponents can't do it either. Back to uh, ground zero, as it were. Exactly. And sometimes you just need to return the board to ground zero. Expensive because of scarcity, last printed in 6th edition and Mirage, right? Like a long time ago. It was a very expensive when I grabbed mine. You can get yours for much less. Okay, number four. Is My Girl Titania, printed from one of the Commander products, 2014, I do believe. I just like this one, one, because I can finally get a foil of it, and so can you. And two... It shows that they're willing to reprint commander-only cards into real formats. And that does nothing but look good going forward for other cards of that nature. 100% agree on everything. Give us more commander-only reprints. Give us cards that used to be not foilable. Win, win. Yeah, definitely great pickup. Number three is Inevitable Betrayal. This is part of the cycle of suspend cards that are throwback to old cards. This one is mm. Acquire. Mm. I like cards like this. I like things that you kind of invest in later and then you get the big payoff. And this one is a lot less F-withable than the one that interacts with your graveyard that could get removed mm. or a bunch of creatures that are in play that could get wiped out. Yeah, and you know what I really like about acquiring other people's cards is when we start playing in person again these cards get a lot more playable and it is like a, a little bit of a throw forward to what i'm looking forward to for the rest of the year once once we can all gather again it's like we're looking into the future like we have future sight number two is tireless provisioner now i know that everybody might have seen this one coming but mm. if you haven't do not sleep on your uncommon slot this card is a beast it's a lotus cobra that does bigger beats it doesn't make you use the mana right away. You can save it or that. If you are really hurting for life, you can get food too, I guess. Yeah, I guess Lotus Cobra needed to be made better, right? It wasn't good enough already. Granted, this costs three instead of Lotus Cobra's two, but the trade-off is you can gain life off of this card if you need to, or if you're playing food.deck. But more than anything else, you can use those treasures whenever. They don't just like leave your mana pool so i think that that's oh yeah that's a gooder i wish this guy was a snake too though okay and the number one pickup as per brando from modern horizons 2 is yavamaya the land the urborg that's green oh yes i feel like people slept on urborg in the early days they didn't realize just how powerful it was going to be and i think this card is just like that Yep. There's not as many things that worked off the number of forests you control or whatever, but that doesn't mean that the well, future won't give us more stuff. And there are things that matter about this. There's and just no um, Cabal Coffers in green, yeah. like like green needs. Yeah, it. That'll it, be the next thing. Yeah, hey, give it green. time. Green Cabal Coffers. Oh, oh I hope. Oh, wizards? Copyright. Heard it here first. Checks in the mail. Yeah, right. I'll bet. Uh, yeah, I love I love the green edition or I love the green version of Urborg. I like how it's like kind of the opposite. Like Yavamaya is like the, a different part of Dominaria. So there's like some historical kind of flavor feel. It was a forest versus a swamp. Uh, I think there are some little tricks that you can do with this by turning creatures into or lands into creatures or creatures into lands and their forests. And I, I think there's going to be a lot of nifty little things and almost almost zero downside to run this card right and everybody that was complaining about void mirror ruining their deck you can play this instead Ooh, <laughs> yeah all the all the void honorable mention to void void mirror if you play cedh because i think that that i think that that one's going to be a good one we didn't have an honorable mention today so i'm i'm throwing that in there executive decision thanks for being here
Yes, and big thank you to Fusion Gaming Online, your source for all of your modern horizons, to all your prismatic Vista needs. Hey, we're getting oh, that too. We're getting it. We did it. Yes. Just and, us. Yes, and CCO Fusion 5 is going to let you save 5% on all those cards when you order them because you're going to order them. You should go there. Help support Commander Cookout Podcast when you do so by letting Fusion know that their partnership with us is a good one. Final big thank you to all the patrons and our editor. You can see all their names right now. Thank you.